Hello, boys, girls, and envies. Welcome back to the judgiest place on the internet. My name's Joms. My name's Rimsk. And my name's Krimshkin. And we are the uh, Jumjis. Here we are. Jumjin around. Feels like it's been a long time, actually. Oh my actually. god, I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. It's been long. I've been in South Carolina. How was that? It's good. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty good. The weather, impeccable. The food, fine. The, the company? Drinks, wine. Ooh. The company? Judgy's LLC. Bovine. <laughs> Whoa, really? Yeah. No, because like, um, uh, Joe's all American <laughs> beef, all baby. All American <laughs> beef. That's right. Friend requests from Josh and Joe took over Charleston. We went around the city. We fl- never got recognized ever on the trip. Hey, wow. I still have yet to be recognized in public. Really? It's happened to me, I don't know, like daily at this point. <laughs> Recognized for the podcast or just you as Christian Kleckner? Oh, let me tell. <laughs> I just thought walking around with me, Joe, and Rachel, Need Girl, somebody at some point would be like, I know one of these three people. You know what I mean? And not once. Not once. Mm. So it's kind of a waste of a trip. I was kind of yeah, really banking it on. stinks. Yeah. A real hit to the ego. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What have you guys been yeah. up to? Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about um, it. Did you get what? a haircut? I did. You did. Thoughts? It was a week ago Saturday. Uh, well, I'm kind of wor- waiting on your thoughts, Josh. You're wearing a beanie. I like the I like the layers at the bottom. That's all that really matters. <laughs> because I got layers, and now you got layers. I got layers the last time, Josh. You're both just like an onion. I stink. That's right. Yes. I make you cry. Also, yes. No, you're a Vidalia, whatever that means. I'm poisonous to dogs, so keep them away <laughs> from me. Um, we, ugh, Joshua, let me tell you. No. So we're working on our primary bathroom situation, right? It's an ensuite, so it's our closet and our bathroom. I've been holding my shit in for weeks. And the, uh, we're moving laundry up into that room as well. Oh, nice. So we finally got drywall done. We've painted it. We refinished the hardwood floors on like the closet side. Um, And we have so much left to do. It feels like it's so close, but we still have so much to do. What do you mean? What else is left to do? Install the shower? All the No, that's how you do it. All the bathrooms. All the bathroom side stuff. Yeah, we have to put the floors down. Tiles. On the bathroom. Yep. And then. I'm still painting the cabinet for the sink. We have to order the countertops. We have to put the sink in. We got to put the toilet in. We got to put, well, we got to get a washer and dryer in there. We got to hook up the washer and dryer electric because that's not done yet. I don't know why you're giving me that look. I'm like, are you confirming. moving your washer dryer up or are you getting new units? We'll see. Do you want to get a stack or you want to no. go? I already made space for them to be next to each other. Now, if I stack them, it's going to be a weird use of the space. Get Correct. two stacks. That way you can do okay, twice as much Okay, hold laundry. up. We have a stack for colors and a stack for... I don't like lights. <laughs> yeah, colors and non-colors. Okay, anyway, so we decided that we were going to do the IKEA pack system for the closet. Okay. Which is basically just like... Cubes. Cubes, kind of. Um, and we ordered two 19-inch boxes, a 39-inch box, and a 29-inch box. Okay. Okay. And I went and picked it all up. Mm-hmm. Barely fit in my car. Mm-hmm. They came pre-built? <laughs> it's no. Ikea, you goofball. Right. So how did it's it barely pad. fit? It's because the they're 92 f- inches long. You didn't say that part. You should okay. have known. You should have known. Anyway. So everything's labeled correctly, right? No. Yes. And then one of my, my 29-inch box actually had 19-inch box inside Oopsies. So now I'm missing a 29. Those box. damn Swedes. Okay. I'm pissed about it. So what is so is this a one box by 92 inches tall with shelves? Oh, there's three of them. Oh wait, the actual it's like modular thing. So yeah, it's like like I've got the thing in my my dining room. No, that's the calyx. I don't know what the fuck so that means. So it's it's basically a big box, right? Okay. 
and then you, you customize like whether you want shelves or drawers or yeah, hanging yeah, yeah. rods or whatever. But the 26 is the width of the unit. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. They're all like yeah. 22 inches deep. Yeah. And they're all 92 inches tall. Gotcha. Yeah. And then the 19, I've got two 19. Yeah. A 39 and a 29. But you don't have a 29. I don't have a 29. You have three 19s. I have three 19s. I'm really, really upset about it because it would be done. I'd be done with it. So, judges, listeners, if you want to send us a 29 inch <laughs> PAX box to the P.O. box, don't. that's. Don't. Yeah, don't. Really don't. Please don't. But speaking, I'm, I'm this was a joke. on it with with uh, customer service. So hopefully, speaking of the PO box, we got mail at PO Box Fifty Eight, Ottawa, Illinois six one three five zero. This one's from Steinman. Whoa! How about that? What a name! What a guy! He goes by only their last name or person. Or well, that's why I said they. After I corrected it, I guys, I still goof up and I use guy as a, a whole thing. There's a letter. Oh, we're invited How cool to a wedding. That oh, that's very cute. Oh, that feels like that looks like a pickle. Oh, uh, this feels real nice. There's a little bit of texture oh, it's to textured. it. Textured. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Hi, piss babies. Hello. Hello. If you re- read this while recording, feel free to use my name. I right lo- at the love top. that. Love that. Right at the top. Beautiful. On the last episode, you mentioned how hard it is to come up with fake names on the spot that you haven't already used. So I thought I could help. Now you don't even have to think about it. Just flip to a page and pick one. Hopes this helps. Sarah. <laughs> it's a book for baby names. Is that 100,000 baby names? 100,001 plus. Is which it is really? A, which one is an plus. interesting, interesting. Why not just say 100,000 plus? P.S. I don't think it's necessary to say, but I scribbled out. Obviously, love you all especially christian whoa or i wouldn't even be sending in this mail i mean me too i also especially thanks love sarah wow thanks Steinman. and i like i like the card it is very cute feel that eye feel the eye i like that eye well we, maybe we shouldn't use her name maybe we should use candace thanks candace i feel this card very good, yeah. It doesn't for ha- for having an owl on the front, it doesn't fly very well. Well, you threw it like this. If you're throwing a card, you gotta throw it frisbee style. Incorrect. All right. You. We're getting in the circle, George Early. If you're throwing a piece of <laughs> uh, a piece of parchment, do you throw it frisbee style or are you throwing it overhand? No, you throw it underhand, hot dog style, like this. Okay, that did work. Yeah, it try, slices it. through the air. Slice so it upside down like this. Enough. Yeah. Hot dog style, so uh-huh, like this. Yeah, and then you and just just yeah. as a flick, boop. Whoa! Ah. You are right. Josh. Either way, you just need the binding towards the front. Josh. Wow! Yeah, it, it's kind of like this. Oh my god! That <laughs> flew. I'm so sorry. Turns for, out it, for an owl, it does <laughs> fly. I remember earlier when I said it didn't fly. It does. I'm so sorry. And from an owl to an <laughs> hour of reading internet stories, because we don't just talk about. Mariner on this podcast. We also podcast on this podcast. What I'm that sorry entails? if your name's Mariner. That's not a great name. Well, what that he entails is us going online and finding right. silly little stories. <laughs> Maybe about someone named Cosmo. Maybe about someone named Lee. Oh. Maybe about someone named Nicholas. And maybe about someone named Najee. We know a Najee. Oh, we do know a Najee. I wonder, does he listen? Definitely not. Well, maybe. Najee from SIU. Back in the day, if you're listening, let us know. You're cooler than your roommate. Um, <laughs> damn, Josh, I really thought you had more to say about South Carolina. I thought I'd at least fill up the whole front half. Oh, I have a whole podcast about it. Friend request from Josh and Joe, where we go into the pre-Charleston trip, and then the bonus episode, we go into post-Charleston. And yes, you can still get pregnant from post-Charleston. That kind of fucks what up the whole pacing. No, actually. Too much salt water. Um... <laughs> Is this technically the St. Patrick's Day episode? Uh, St. Patrick's Day is on Monday. When no, no, it's on Friday, it's on but it's on the Friday before this comes out. Sure. So, mm-hmm. hey, top of the morning to you. This one's uh, this one's a St. Patrick's Day special. Let's really hope I didn't read this one. From r slash true off my chest, I handed him divorce papers today over his Reddit account and a bag of chips. And Sound a bag familiar? of chips. All that and a bag of chips. So Irish of you. 
Obviously, it goes without saying, it wasn't just the bag of chips. But Hot Cheetos were my breaking point. I couldn't take it anymore. Makes sense. If it's Hot Cheetos, it makes sense. He it didn't sense. get rid of his Hot Cheeto dust and then did a little thing with his hands. and imagine Too spicy down there. Imagine putting a finger in an orifice with Cheeto dust. Imagine that. I feel like I put my Cheeto dust fingers in my mouth all the time. That's an orifice. That's fair. That's, That's fair. fair. Yeah. Imagine, you know when you chop peppers and then seven days later you still somehow have pepper juice and it okay. just ruins the day? No, because I wash my hands. Underneath the while fingernails I'm is it, the tricky part. It does happen. Because there are times when I cut peppers and then it's like, I've washed my hands four times now and you rub your eyes and it's like, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Yeah. Sometimes. Are you not sometimes. scrubbing under your nails when you wash your hands? Never. Well, I do that. I... Yeah. <laughs> when I get done. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't get under the nails? No. I I'll, mean, yeah, but no. After after chopping peppers, I just sort of chop a, a brick of, of soap. That way, hopefully, that gets under there, too. Mm. Mm. That makes sense, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is yeah, that's actually really smart, dude. And then you can just warm it up and melt it back together into a brick of soap. Okay, so anyway. What the frick? The story? Oh, fuck. We read stories on this podcast. You're <laughs> acting like a real Denver, Erica. Oh, yeah. That? Yeah. Sorry. I had already had the terms of separation drawn up six months ago when during a heated argument, he said, we don't have kids. You should be thankful it's only me you clean up after. That felt like a big leap. Whoa. Fuck you. Whoa. She already drafted terms of separation like to yeah. break up. And then it was like six months later. It's like, these are still here. Oh, well, I think it's like you have it. And it's like, oh, you one more fucking thing and we're done. And I, then you kind of, you're like, you get over it because, you know, you have it in your pile. They have ADHD, Josh. Get over it, okay? They forgot to break up because it, yeah, wasn't a Object time. permanence. It's in the pile. It's just part of the background now. Yeah. I just keep hearing it in my head. Thankful for cleaning up behind a grown man 10 years older than me. Okay, age gap. I was about to say, you're not going to say age gap? Age gap. He apologized the next day in detail and told me why what he said was wrong, but that he doesn't believe it. But maybe it's just out of my character, but I didn't think the things you say in those moments are just hurtful words. Little bits of truth are in those words. That makes sense. And then I found his Reddit account a few days ago. I accidentally saw the username when he showed me a screenshot. I tried. Not really, Teehee. Not to memorize it. And it <laughs> took me two days to get the courage to look. In between the comments on not safe for work subreddits that were complaining about me and posts about me too. One post he had ripped me to shreds and told uh told me that he was a piece of crap. Reading those comments made me realize I was nothing but a fucking idiot to think that love can fix these things i was 20 when i met him and he was 35 <gasps> age gap gross gross yikes he's a really immature 35 though yeah. that's worse <laughs> oh she's a really <laughs> mature 20 year old she was like at least 21 she was like mentally 21 yeah she only got carded sometimes yeah that's disgusting, man. It's pretty fucking weird. 35 a dating a 20-year-old is insane. I thought people were being dramatic or annoying about our age gap because my single father who raised me didn't have an issue. But then I realized I he like was that's a red flag also. just the same type of fucking creep. Oh, there we go. It was go. almost like my father pre-groomed me to accept certain behaviors to make it easier for other men in my life. Yikes. Sounds like a Struthers. Ew. It does sound like a Struthers. I'm getting off topic, but I came home early today after a rough day at work and finding out my direct reporting manager had been. Content warning. Content warning. Uh, My direct reporting manager had been killed by her husband. (laughs) Just dabble that in there. What? Is this a listener submission? No, this is on Reddit. What subreddit I, is this? True off my chest. <laughs> ah, okay. I walked into the door to see my lazy, filthy husband. I told him what had happened, and I started to cry. He didn't even console me. He said, we don't know what made him do that. 
Let's wish both of them luck and move on with our day. Wish what both bike? of them luck? One of them's six feet under. <laughs> wish her luck? She's fucking dead. She, her body's <laughs> still warm, man. <laughs> I try to convince myself he just didn't pay attention to what I said. Also bad. That but soothed insane. me for about an hour until I was in the middle of making dinner and he complained that it was already 645. I told him he shouldn't be that hungry yet. He had just ate half a bag of chips and left them on the table. Instead of A, helping me finish dinner and B, apologizing and waiting silently and patiently, uh, waiting silently and patiently finishing his bag of chips or just laughing it off, he threw the bag of chips at me. Oh, yeah. Seven years together, four of them married, <gasps> and he's never done anything that downright rude to me. Because low self esteem aside, that's something that won't fly with me either way. The chips landed all over the floor. I had just mopped and swept. Whatever glare I gave him, it was enough to make him grab the broom in 30 seconds. Okay. He can change. <laughs> he, can, he can change him. He's only a, he's a, he's a spry 45 at this point. But it wasn't enough to make him at least double check that it was all swept up and attempt to vacuum after. When I finished dinner and brought our plates to the dinner table, thinking, wow, I really spoil him. The entire time we've dated, I've always made his plates and brought them right to him. No one has ever done that for me. Hmm. And then I stepped on a chip. Mm -hmm. It didn't hurt, but I screamed. I'm not sure why, but I just couldn't take it anymore. I ran to the home office and came back out with the paper and pen, put them in front of him on his dinner plate, and walked out while he was yelling my name. I'm killing a burger and fries in my car right now and realizing I still have to start all over. My life is done. Mm. My love for him is too. That's I good. hope I don't cave. I hope I don't let him convince me. I hope if I start to change my mind, I come back and reread this post so that I understand that this is not a heated decision. This is something I need to do if I ever want anything like a real fucking life again. Good. Your life is not over. You're 27. Yeah. You're, so much to unpack here. You're okay. There was a lot to unpack. Um. So, like, this man's a piece of shit, and yeah. I, I don't even know where to even start, because there's so much. <laughs> it's wild to me that, like, I mean, I feel like there's, like, you know, we all know, like, dozens of stories like this, I feel like. And it's crazy how these, like, these dudes, like, get so far in life. And they like, I don't know how they find the women that are like, oh, yeah, I can manipulate this person. Yeah, let's, let's go in on this one. Not a good enough I don't know how system. they sniff it out. Yeah. But somehow these fucking weirdos find it all the time. Yeah, just young people wanting the validation, wanting to feel old. And I mean, it's a it's a million factors that go into yeah. it. Yeah. The fact that he immediately defended the murderer. <laughs> the Wild, actual murder. right? There's n you should never say maybe he had a good reason to murder his wife. That's not a sentence you should You say. never start with that. Never. Even like, it, and, automatically condoning, not even condoning, but, like, def defending spousal murder yeah. is insane. That should, you should have been like, you know what? This is all I needed to know. Goodbye. And it's definitely one of those things that, like, I'm sure the guy would be like, well, it was a joke. Oh, but yeah. But that's not even something you should joke about in that instance. Maybe as like a fourteen year old edgy teenager. Even then. But when you're a should know better. When you're a forty year old and your fucking wife or your yeah, your wife just told you that her boss got murdered, maybe maybe you should have the mental EQ to be like, hey, maybe yeah. don't make a stupid fucking statement about it. Yeah. That was insane. Especially to be like her direct boss. Like Ed I don't know. Why am I I even saying this like It'd be one thing if it was, you know, just like some random person at the company. Then it's like, it's sad, but it's like not directly affecting you. But when it's your direct boss, it's like, whoa. I mean, yes. But also, he, even if he had the same response, it would still be. It's still fucked up to have that response at yeah. all. But. but I get what you're saying, though, like, especially because it's somebody that she, like, works directly closely, with, yeah. closely with. Yeah. That's fucking insane. I can't believe that that happened. Crazy. <laughs> Do you believe that I have another story prepared for us? No, you, you never prepare. Love after love. Ooh, get it, Richard. 
Please share the story, Christian. <laughs> Next story Damn. comes from... <laughs> I didn't expect you to have this sunny disposition about yourself. <laughs> Good one. If you're going to share it, you do have to scream it because she only types in caps. Does she? Yeah. She wow. caps locks every tweet. Next story comes from r slash... Am I the asshole? r slash am I the asshole. Thanks for having the fun, Josh. Party pooper. That's me. Am I the asshole for refusing to drive my son's friend because he keeps farting in my car? Ooh. Well, Maybe you just tell Carrick to calm down. Carrick? Carrick, yeah. Uh, I thought you said carrot at first. And I, I did was too. Like, huh. Sure. Nope. Carrick. The other day I was driving my son, 14 male, and his friends who live by to soccer practice. They usually take the bus, but sometimes I will drive them before I have to go to work. As I was driving, I heard a loud fart coming from my son's friend, followed by laughter from both of them. Classic. Sure. Farts are funny. 14-year-old fart, great. Even That's... Olsen knows farts are funny. Yeah. I mean... Baby knows farts are funny. It's an instinct. Boo. I like to share one. This one was not funny. It's fine. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> apparently apparently he is doing it at least partly on purpose because they have a dumb farting joke that they think is funny okay i'll he be even, the arbiter to see if this is a funny joke he even pulled his legs up before he farted to demonstrate that he was doing it on purpose i told them Fun. point blank this was not funny at all and I asked my son's friend to not do that again in my car. If you're going to fart, get out of the car. Maybe if you pull the stick out of your ass, you might fart a time or three. How about that? <laughs> Whoa, Josh, you got some words to say about this They're one. They're 14-year-olds. Let them fart. Roll down a window. A few minutes later, he farted again and busted out laughing. My son had a smirk on his face, but he was trying to hold back his laughter. Oh, that makes sense. Because harder. he knows I asked him not to. He's so mature. At this point, I pulled over to the nearest bus stop. We live in Europe, so we have a great public transport system. And I told my son's friend he will have to travel the rest of the distance by bus. <laughs> what an asshole! A 14-year-old child? Later, my son told me that he was embarrassed in front of his friend and thinks I treated him a bit too harshly. Agreed. Apparently, the kid was also late for practice, and the coach scolded him for this. Yeah. So, am I the asshole here? Yes. Yeah. What the fuck? It's just a fart. Like, come on. I don't... It's a... Yeah, like, you can't... I mean, you can, but you can't, like, make yourself fart. But if you know a fart's coming, you can do something comedically. It doesn't mean you're yeah. doing it on purpose. Now, you can also hold in a fart, I guess. I under... <sighs> I don't understand. She, it's a fucking fart, dude. Like, come on. What's crazy is this all was on one trip. Yeah. This wasn't like, this is the 17th trip in a row where I've kindly asked him. It took right. one trip of farts to be like, you're taking the bus. Like yeah. two farts total. That's crazy. But he lifted his leg up for one of the farts. You know the disrespect it takes to lift up a leg to fart good? It's a little risky. It is risky. It is risky. Well, also, he had to get him out before he went to soccer practice. You want him to poop his pants in soccer? That's true. Although, if you fart while you're running, it makes you go a little bit faster. That's science. That is science. Some Man, jet propulsion. Usain Bolt's got some gas, then. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That's his secret. That's his secret. That's not what? that he's just amazingly gifted and trained super hard. He just... Ate a big bowl of chili. And each step is... Yeah. You know in cartoons when people are running and there's those dust clouds behind them? It's actually fart clouds. Your brain just as a kid thinks it's dust clouds. When I say leave you in the dust, it, it used to be leave you in fart. It's butt dust. Yeah, butt dust. Crop dusting. Yes. Yeah, yeah you're putting two and two together, bud. I can't believe you didn't know all of this. Yeah, this is start. big this fart is... war. <laughs> well, I'm not, you guys know I'm not athletic. That's true. That is true. You know we what? are the athletes of the pod. It's true. We are the athletes of the pod. I'm the mathlete of the pod. I'm not. I'm really not that good at math. I was going to say, I also think that's Josh. What do you excel at? 
Excel. Weird. Do you think you're the best Excel? Oh, absolutely not. I barely know how to use Excel. <laughs> I'm pretty good. If it, says, if it says it on my resume, <laughs> I'm lying. If you are good at Excel, you should do the accounting because the Excel sheet is a mess. <laughs> I'm so I was trying to do something on Excel the other day, and I was like, I felt like a caveman. Oh, I was trying to do I was trying to write a number that had a zero at the beginning, and it just makes the zero disappear unless you have an apostrophe in yeah, front of it. Yeah, you have to do apostrophe. Yeah. And it's like I'm like. I was about to break a computer. I turned into an old man. I'm just like, and I'm typing in the same number like eight times. Because <laughs> you want to read like 0804. Yeah. But it's just like, oh, I'll fix eight it. Four, 804. Yeah. The worst yeah. is when you're in Word and you're trying to type like a number and it's like, oh, you mean March 3rd. And I'm yeah. not going to let you change it back. Yeah. It's March 3rd. Or it's like, they didn't mean does 3 like, slash 03. Does like, was it like the super text or whatever where it's like up in the corner? Yeah. And then it's like, Hey, I know you backspaced that because you didn't want it like that, but your font's stuck like that now. Yeah. Forever. I don't know what to tell you. That's the worst on emails. I feel like on Word, it's easy enough to fix it. On emails, like I get so confused where I'm like, where, where's the fonts? What am I doing? I don't... You Thoughts? guys wouldn't get this. You guys haven't had a job for months. That's true. We haven't had jobs for months. Maybe they changed the email since then. I mean, it, to me, it just sounds like somebody got over 30 and now is a boomer. <laughs> a little bit of a Luddite. I am a little bit of a Luddite. Which is funny because you are the tech. I would say you're the tech of the tech guy of the pod. Oh, for sure. Whenever we need tech stuff, I'm like, Christian. Yeah, I do. Well, you know, I like to have a hyper fixation. So it's like, oh, you need me to research something? And it's like. <laughs> Clean your keyboard. <laughs> Clean your pantomime keyboard. They're <laughs> kind of gunked up. I buy the expensive mechanical keyboards. I'm, I'm rocking cherries. So if I was something. typing, it would sound like. Okay, new typing sound like, <laughs> and Erica typing. Yeah, she has a Mac. Absolutely, I don't have a Mac. You have an immaculate PC. He's not wrong about that one. I use his, so it's not the same as his. Wait, really? Yeah. What? R slash am I the asshole? Yes, probably. Am I the bleep for refusing to help my daughter with her car payment because she's a stripper? <laughs> I'm going to yes. go with yeah. Yeah. It's a real easy one. I, 47 male, have a 22-year-old daughter. She's in college. Age cap. Did I send this to you? No. Can we get a name for the stripper? Um, Cairo. Cairo. Cairo mm -hmm. down in southern Illinois. And the dad's name? The layman. Sounds like a real lame man. <laughs> Fuck you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> She's in college and lives on campus. I agreed to help her make car payments since she was still in school. But I was recently informed by a young man that I work with that my daughter strips at a club about 40 minutes away. I confronted her about this. And she said that she didn't plan to do it after she graduated, and she just needed some money. I told her if she needed money that bad, then she should go work at McDonald's and not use her body. Uh, She's still using her body to get yeah. to and from work and to do all of the work at McDonald's. Like, what? And also getting paid less for probably, yeah, the same grueling amount of inter customer interaction. Oh, my God. You're right. Like, dealing with... They're both bad people. Like... Dealing with the customers at McDonald's ver and the, like, the customers at, at a strip, strip club, club, you get like a bouncer to like I reinforce guess. shit. But you still have to. Like, yeah, no, no, I no, they're yeah, but like uh, the strip club probably offers more protection for you as a dancer yeah. than a, a McDonald's would for you as a McDonald's employee. That is true. Let alone the insane pay difference. Waffle House, they give you Krav Maga lessons. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I've seen enough TikToks to know. You see that girl catch a chair thrown at her? I don't know how she did that. It was impressive. You, yeah, I'm sure you saw this video. She a customer throws a fucking metal chair at a waffle, and she house just like catches employee. it with one hand. She catches it with one hand in, in mid air and then throws it on the ground and like. It looks like she insane. stops all momentum in the I chair. I haven't makes seen no sense. that TikTok, but in South Carolina, I did get very belligerent at a Waffle House and did throw a chair at an employee. Did you go okay. to Waffle House? No, I didn't. No. I've, I've been to Waffle House. Oh, you're okay. a liar. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, sorry. This explains a lot about you. My uncle, good old uncle uh, Taryn, taught me how to lie. 
Me and Cairo got into an argument, and I asked her to quit stripping and go get a decent job. She refused and said stripping was easy money. So I basically said there was no need for me to pay for her car payment anymore since she's making so much money and so easily. <laughs> she got upset and said that this just wasn't fair and that she doesn't make enough for that. I told her, well, you figure it out then. What a bad parent. She told my wife about what happened and my wife is upset by her job choice but says it is unfair for me to stop supporting her so suddenly over this argument. Mm-hmm. But I think it's perfectly fair. It's my money, and I need it now. And my decision, uh, it's my money and my decision when to cut it off. So am I the asshole? Yeah. It is your decision when to cut it off, but you're an asshole, and you're breaking your and your daughter's relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She literally is just has a job, and you're like, yes. that's not the job I want you to have. Go have a worse job, please, and then I'll give you more. It's like, fuck off. What you a- imagine though, like... This dude seems like the kind of dude that would be pissed if she got a job at McDonald's too. Yeah, like if like, bef- if this was just oh hey I saw your daughter working at McDonald's and he'd be like that's not good enough for my kid. Yeah, I could totally see this guy. That's doing probably that. why I need to give her a car payment because she doesn't make enough money. Also, having any kind of job in college and trying to afford anything is nearly impossible. I feel like oh. I was that she was post college. No, she no. was still in college. She oh, doesn't okay. plan on continuing. Ah, after. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what if if she's good at it and she likes doing it? Then why the fuck does it matter? Yeah, and you get nice part time hours, I imagine. Like, yeah, because you know it's not open during the day. Well, maybe it is, but Some you know, are. like, it's probably per. I mean, there's a reason why people in college strip because yeah, it's lucrative and it works with your schedule. Mm-hmm. Take advantage of your killer body while you got it. Otherwise, you hit thirty and you look like me. <laughs> Still hot. What do you mean? Yeah, but imagine him on a pole. Amazing yeah, still hot. I would pull a hammy. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is kind of hot, though. It is kind of hot, because then she can sort of, like, misery, like, nurse you back to health. Yeah. yeah. If I was thinking more, I'd just massage it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I think maybe we massage this ad break for some moolah. Catch you on the flip side. Welcome back, this side of the podcast. Welcome back to this side of the podcast. Welcome back to this side of the podcast. Good time to plug if you don't ever want to hear an ad again. One dollar on Patreon gets you all the ad-free episodes. So, how about Sounds that? like a deal to me. access to the Discord. And if you go to five, you get bonus episodes every month. So, Oh, oh you're going to turn that down? Merp. Oh, you're going to turn that down? Our last bonus episode was really fun. It was. We, uh, we were margaritas deep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Some because we, if you don't know, we recorded that and episode one forty three, back to back. But the but the, but the bonus little... episode came out first, and so we sat in there like we can't reference one forty three because people are going to hear it out of order. And we got a comment or two that were like, "I waited to listen to the bonus episode until after one forty three came out <laughs> because they already referenced it immediately." Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It we was were... a good. Here's the thing. Go back listen to one forty three. Christian's opinion? Instant classic. It was an instant classic episode, I felt like. Oh, your opinion is that it was an instant classic. Yeah. Oh. I thought, yeah. We thought you were calling your opinions good. F- yeah, from the episode. <laughs> I was like, mm. Yeah, you had bad opinions. No, episode. my opinions on the episode were also good. You said that that guy driving around was actually really cool and you should start doing it. Absolutely fucking not. The whole time I was cringing. Yeah, but. I was writhing. Actions, not words. Hey, but you know what always comes before the thing we do on this half of the podcast? You can still get pregnant This is Zapataki's favorite part. Zapataki? Slavic. Circle jerk. Oh, they give you language of origin. Does it give meanings? From just beyond the stream. Wow. Mm -hmm. Circle Jerge time. If you're new to the podcast, this is where we just kind of fuck around. We just get a little... And then we get back into the stories. Later. This week's this week's circle judge is I'm just throwing it out here a judge's lifestyle brand. Okay. All so right. this is when we completely sell out. This, this is, is for this, us to completely sell out. This is when we become influencers. Did you read the very last line of my you little fucker? You little fucker. Step one of the judge's lifestyle brand. 
we got to either start a newsletter or a blog. Oh, so this is how we're going to start the judges. Yeah. Okay, okay. Newsletter or a blog. Does a Substack count? I don't really know what a Substack is. I've heard it's that they It's effectively a blog. Is that what it is? You have to sign up to an email thingy for it. Is that what that... So is that what the newsletter is too? Because I... When we first started the podcast, I was like looking up, you know, we were getting 10 listeners an episode. I was like, how the fuck do we grow this? And it's like, you got to get an email chain with a newsletter. You got to do a weekly newsletter. That way you, you get engagement for your listeners. And I was like, I would never want my podcast to send me fucking weekly emails. Yeah, no. If I got an, I, I got an email from somebody I follow on Twitter to join as a sub stack and I almost unfollowed them immediately. Yeah. I was like, don't ever do this again. Yeah, I don't like this. But that is step one of us getting a lifestyle. <laughs> but we're gonna do it better. Is we're gonna have a good one. I have written down here. I know none of us are gonna take the time to do oh, this. So, oh. oopsies, we'll be back. Uh, Judgy's lifestyle brand. I have written down here. I know none of us are gonna take the time to do this, so we're probably gonna have to outsource this step. Do we okay. got any anybody in mind? To... Teo, Teo could write a um, great Substack for who us. Who are you thinking? Louise. <laughs> Louise, come on, you want to do free work for us, buddy? Oh, Not you free? don't like? <laughs> we'll this give is an you an intern. That's true. Don't worry, we'll give you so much promotion. Yeah, It'll... we'll give you. Yeah. It's gonna come back tenfold eventually. Eventually. Maybe. When you Teo, sue if you us, do it, we'll pay you. And when you sue us two years from now for never paying you, you're going to get so much publicity. It's so much publicity. We're paying you an exposure. Step two of the Judgy's Lifestyle brand. And this might be my favorite part. We start making products. Okay. Products that we absolutely love and products that we must absolutely have. So like merch. No, not merch. This is more Even like better. a Judgy's Burger. This, number one on my list, maybe a Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme Meal a la Cardi B Offset style. Okay. We'll have our custom Taco Bell orders. Okay. All right. The Judge Wrap. The Judge Wrap. That's not okay. bad. Um, I don't know. Maybe our own Judges branded large brim fedoras. <laughs> Poop knives. Poop knives would work. That would be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. Okay, we're having... Okay. Can we skip step one and just go straight to Poop Knife? Well... How are you going to tell people that it came out? How are you going to tell people about it? Through our podcast? Nobody listens to podcasts They're more likely to read their newsletter that they get sent to them weekly. They'll never unsubscribe from that. (laughs) Okay, now we're going to get a little little wild with it. A little silly goofy? Maybe Maybe a thumb person sex toy? Josh, I know you're into this one. Are we talking like body pillow? Ah, it could be whatever you want. What do you mean thumb person sex toy? I mean, we can workshop that one. Do you mean like a real girl, but like thumb person? I mean. Okay, but like, so you're thumb people? Yeah. Right? But like a dildo. Okay, so like a dildo sized thumb person? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm on board. You're on board? Yeah. Um, Marigold poop gloves? Marigold X Judgy's poop gloves. Okay. If we can secure Marigold, then I'm down. That'd be huge. For if us. it's any other brand, I'm out. And this one, I feel like with the whole the whole market going on right now, we get into high end eggs for the Judgies, but they're only meant to be fed to cats. Okay. Mm. So we're we're going with with it, very slim market for people who can afford to pay premium prices for eggs. Yeah. But strictly for cats. But for cats. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Taylor Swift would be all over this for Meredith. Yeah. Meredith? Yeah. What's the other name of her cat? I don't know. Miranda. <laughs> the, the New York City. You got a whole book of names there. New York City. Uh, Emma. Meredith and Emma. I think she has like a, one of them is like a pun, I believe. Sort of like Kitty Purry, but it's obviously not Kitty Purry. Ah, that was really good to come up so quickly. No, Katy Perry's cat's name is Kitty Purry. Oh. That's so fucking lame. That's, that's I hate really Katy Perry. weird I don't to know name why. your own we cat. Also, well, we also had a gym teacher whose name was Katy Perry, and mm-hmm. her cat was also named Kitty Purry. Oh, wow. Yeah. This one, this one, this is the last product I've written down. This one I'm really on board with. Okay. Bean candles. So it'll be soy candles and a can of beans on the label. But what's the scent? 
We can have it be whatever the frick we want. Maple brown sugar. Maple brown sugar would work for baked beans a yeah. lot. Okay. Actually. Okay. Right. Okay. How do we get with the bean distributor, uh, candle distributor? The issue, <laughs> Christian, with this circle, George, is we have to cut it or else people will steal our ideas. But what if we just sue the shit out of them? <laughs> Step four, sue the shit out of people. Uh, and then we'll have to also come up with some kind of interesting name, a la Goop. Maybe we'll go really easy. We'll just be Poop. Jupe. Okay. Okay. I was going to say Jupe, <laughs> but no, Poop makes sense. And our final step to the Judgy's lifestyle brand, we become the next Rihanna's baby. And by this, I mean we're going to be billionaires, but no one's going to lump us in with the bad billionaires. We're the right. good billionaires. Right. We're billionaires made off of mainly our own labor. Yeah. yeah. Like, probably. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think many we'll people have you know, an issue buddy. with Rihanna. So. I see what that's the there. That's the correct market. Is yeah. LeBron James a millionaire yet? A I millionaire? assume he's a millionaire, yes. <laughs> Is he a billionaire yet? LeBron I don't know. James, probably. He's got to be, right? Yeah, there's a few. Yeah. You know, Dolly Parton would be a billionaire, but she gives away all of her money because she's a saint. Because she only makes 70% for every dollar that yeah. a man makes. No, Dolly I mean, Parton is an absolute we could do wonderful that. person. Just think, if you guys all just gave us so much money, we became billionaires and we could give it away. Yeah, as long as and we just be millionaires We instead. could just be 999 millionaires permanently. Yeah. And then we're not bad guys. We're no longer the bad guys. We've just pulled ourselves up by our own bootstraps. We did we did it all ourselves. It was just you guys giving us money. Uh Taylor Swift's three cats are named Meredith Grey. Okay. After Grey's Anatomy. Olivia Benson after Law and Order SVU. And okay. Benjamin Button after, of course, Fast and the Furious. <clears throat> no puns. Sorry. What do we think about the judges' lifestyle brain? I like down. the last part. Becoming billionaires. billionaires? Okay. Yeah, it's enjoyable. But the good ones. In yeah. parentheses, the good ones. Yeah, we're we're Melinda Gatesing it. Don't don't lump us with them. We're yeah. over in this group. We're Warren we're the Warren Buffets of podcasting. Where everyone's like, he gives advice. Okay. So we don't hate him as much for some reason. He does say that, like, oh, I should be taxed more, but he doesn't do anything to actually <laughs> right, lobby. Yes. <laughs> the lowest bar where he's like, I'll pay more taxes, but then also lobbies to make sure he doesn't pay more taxes. Yeah. That makes sense. But he drives a, a, 20, a 2003 Honda sedan <laughs> with hail damage or some bullshit. <laughs> I feel like I've only seen, like, so much PR work for Warren Buffett to be like, he's, yeah. a, good, oh, he's a good one. We'll, do, we'll get the Jimmy Carter treatment. Okay. Where we don't even have to be billionaires, but we'll just be like, we just build one house a year, and then now we're cool. I'd... He's like 90, ten, 90, 10, 9, 900 yeah. years old. So. Not anymore. Did he die? Yeah. No. Oh, he hasn't died yet? No. I Didn't he just so. die? I don't think so. I'm he just pretty got sure... hospitalized? Yeah. Oh, he's in hospice, right? He, oh, speaking he of. He pulled a classic Mitch McConnell and like fell and just got fucked up. Mitch McConnell's in the hospital. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, I'm... Oh, that's so funny. That's... That dude's such a piece of shit. Praying for his downfall. I'm, the crab rave is ready to play as soon as Mitch, Mitch McConnell <laughs> fucking kicks it. I can't wait. I've been my one friend Brennan. She's in New York. Uh, her Fox. and I. Huh? Flex. I mean, she just lives in New oh, York. Oh, I thought you said flex. fucks. Fucks. Which. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess if she. Anyway, fucks, yeah. uh, <laughs> for you. her and I send Mitch McConnell memes back and forth, and it's the best. How old is old bitch McConnell? <laughs> hey, fuck you. How old? Too is old. He? Too old. I don't know. I, I feel he like that, he's around 80. Okay. He's not like a Feinstein. That's what I was going to say. Is like, is he that age where it's actually like, oh, he fell. He's going to fucking die. Or is 81. he like that age where it's like, ooh, grandpa fell. And it's going to like, he's going to be like in a wheelchair. Well, you've seen like pictures of Mitch McConnell's hands like when he was like 72. And his hands are just all bruised because he has no circulation. And that's why okay. falls when you're old. Kill, Kill you. you. Yeah. You have no circulation at all. Like your body can't get blood out. So you just die of like hematomas. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Only for Mitch McConnell, though. Only for Mitch McConnell. And though. I guess when Rihanna is 84 and she falls, then I guess, yeah, that's a billionaire too that's going to die. Josh, you get one TikTok where you uh, hear that we've all been saying her name wrong and now you making a point to say it right i feel like you've dropped it a that's a how bunch you of times. should do it i get that 
but also <laughs> my brain didn't process it enough to do it on the beginning. So now I've stepped, I haven't even said her name because I'm like, I, it's, it's one of those things it where it's like, I don't want to goof this I up. I mean, really, well, she, her name's Robin. She was known her so name. long as Rihanna by like the public. And then somebody asked her and she was like, no, it's Rihanna. And then real, nobody changed it. A real uh, <laughs> Hassan Minaj, Minaj, Minaj or whatever his name is. Is it pronounced ha- Hassan? Ha- Hassan? I was going to say it, isn't it? It's Hassan. It's, it's Hassan, it but with Hassan. two S's. No, that's... He got called Hassan forever, and then he went on Ellen and was like, that's not my name. You've so all been saying Hassan. it. Yeah. You've all been saying it wrong. We're all just racists. Yeah. I well, love that for us. Well, let's not forget about Sierra Sharonin. Everybody says her name wrong, too. <laughs> what, it, what is it? Saoirse. And what does everybody else say? Saoirse. Yeah, Saoirse. Saoirse. Scorsese. And wait, and what is it? Saoirse. Okay. <laughs> you have to do it. Saoirse. You have to do that. Otherwise, it's racist against Irish people. And we can't do that in this episode. Mm-hmm. It's the St. Patrick's Day episode. It's, it's, not, it's not the 1900s anymore. We're not in the meatpacking industry anymore. I don't know. Crickets. Oh, you never read The Jungle by Upton Sinclair? It's very good. Is it? Yeah. I thought that'd be a little bit longer. (laughs) Did you cut it down? Did somebody shorten the the Scooby-Doo run? Who the fuck is shortening my Scooby-Doo noise? And, you know, now that the circle of George is over, we all know what time it is. Time for a listener submitted story, which you can send in over by. Ooh, nice mechanical keyboard. <laughs> she just bought it, gmail.com. I did not appreciate and to that. to preface our listener submitted stories, we, of course, have a listener submitted sound, which you can. <laughs> <laughs> Upsetting to hear to find out this way. That's Olson's <laughs> favorite lullaby. Uh what is that? Fertilese? Mm-hmm. Fertilese? Wow. By Bach. Beethoven? Beethoven. Bach. This saw uh, this sound was sent to us by Kelsey. Thanks, Kelsey. Thanks, Sup, Kelsey. fuckers. Hello. Hi. Name's Kelsey. You're allowed to share that. Great. Here's the sound. Really putting my music degree to good use. Enjoy. Love that you put that at the beginning. That you can use. We can use your name. Perfect. I love that you guys are listening to us. Thank you. Perfect. 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 What do we think? Go ahead. No, I just. What's your episode? You can talk. What do we think about it? There be. My dad's gonna be upset. That she really? fucked my mom. Oh. Yeah. He doesn't like being made a cuckold of himself. Mm. Of himself. Yeah. What are you going to say? I'm sorry. I, I sorry I so rudely interrupted you. You guys rudely interrupted each other, actually. Wow. That's because we're a perfect couple, Josh. Yeah. Um, and we're not going to have time for you to read either one of the stories I sent you. Why? Of course they will. Can you read both of them? Well, one of them. Oh, I forgot we had some Christian, issues. you're acting like a real lunt. Yeah. That felt offensive. Scandinavian from the Grove. Scandinavian for absolute dipshit? <laughs> Am I the apple <laughs> for this wedding disaster? Wedding planning disaster? Hi, judges. Hello. Hi. I'm in a real predicament. Yesterday, September 10th, 2022. Oh, interesting date. My 25 female. Now, fiance, 28 male. A little bit of an age gap. Proposed to me. Yay. Maybe. I've had... Maybe. Maisel is Maisel her name. Maisel is their name. And... and Oswald. Maisel and Oswald. Maisel. What a great pairing of names. Actually, I do like... They're both unique enough that I like them. I have had butterflies since the moment. Aww. And I'm excited for the beautiful path we'll walk together. Yay. Oh, guys, that did not taste good. I'm sure I'm going to smell it. That's going to be awful. 
However, this afternoon has filled me with dread, and I am now in a pit of absolute depression. Oh. Mm-mm. My parents divorced a while back, and now my mom has crippling anxiety, even seeing people who resemble my dad. Okay. And my dad wants his current partner to be part of uh, every bit of his life. I understand both sides. I love my mom and respect every bit of her boundaries. And the same with my dad, because I love his new girlfriend. Both of them want to be part of my wedding, but my mom will not attend my wedding if my dad's partner is there, and my dad will not attend if his partner is not invited. If I break either of their boundaries, it will hurt my relationship with them, or possibly end my relationship with them entirely. I talked to my fiancé about not inviting either of them, despite the fact that it would genuinely break my heart to not have them there. Right. But it seems like the only solution that I can see. It might also end my relationship with both of them if I don't invite them. So I need to know, am I the asshole if I don't invite them? Interesting debacle. Oof. Uh, here's my advice. Elope. Don't invite anybody. Just you and your husband. Go elope. Interesting. Interesting. It does kind of just wipe your hands clean of everything. He's like, oh, we went to Nova Scotia. Is that far enough away? Depends on where they're at. They live in Nova Scotia, too. Yeah. We went so, to Alberta. Sorry skip. we couldn't invite you. Who do you think is more in the wrong, the mom or the dad? It depends I, on I, what the dad did. Yeah. That's a, actually a great point. The way the mom is like, I can't even be pe- around people that look like him. It's like, Ooh, That makes it feel there? like there's some trauma, That's some significant trauma. But if it's just like, you know. But it's weird that the, the mom is like, it's because he's bringing his new girlfriend. Yeah. But if he wasn't bringing his new girlfriend, then I'll still come. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's also a weird little thing where it's like, why can't you just, like, suck it up for one day? That's kind of how that's you're right. dying. Yeah. Because it's not unreasonable for him to say, I want my partner there. Right. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. I got a plus one. Sure. Daddy gets a plus one. I don't like it when you It's a rule that way. one of weddings. Daddy gets plus one. Yeah. That's rule one. Rule plus one. Rule plus one. When you're on New Game Wedding Plus, you get a plus two. Oh. Yeah, but you get to keep all the stuff from the first wedding. That means they're a little more difficult. Yeah. Higher health pool. Higher health pool, yeah. So, yeah, I do think the mom is probably <laughs> like, not, not that that's what the question was or whatever. Probably more of like, come on. Yeah. Unless it's, like, really, really bad. But, like, we can also maybe assume that it wasn't that bad considering that the daughter is it's, having him at the wedding. Yeah. and it's, Like, I feel like she would be more receptive to that. I don't know if there's some, like, compromise here. Like, maybe... Two weddings. <laughs> That's not what I was going to say. Like, oh. maybe... Okay, no. Mom stays for ceremony. Girlfriend doesn't come to ceremony. And then mom's Mom like, all right, see you later girlfriend comes for reception yeah i mean because like i guess it depends on how long that the girlfriend's been dating the dad she does have less of a stake of like seeing this girl get married and so like the dad and the mom want to see that but like maybe the girlfriend you know just comes to the party and then the dad gets to party with her what if we now listener hear me out mazel Mm -hmm. oswald what if we budget a uh, prosthetics makeup artist, and we just make the dad look a little different. No, the mom doesn't like seeing the dad's face if he doesn't have the dad's face. No, I think that everyone's adults here, and your parents need to com- so just, some yeah, to com- just grow a mustache, compromise, instead. and yeah, grow up. And- well, or and I don't like the prosthetics idea. Maybe you get into the prop department and you just give your mom horse blinders. Okay. That way she can only look forward. I really thought that you were going to go the route of the uh, fake glasses that have the fake nose and the mustache and give that to dad. It would also work. It's not the worst idea I've ever heard of. Technically, I would consider that a prosthetic. It's a prop. It's a fake nose. That's the prosthetic. <laughs> would you call a mask a prosthetic? Oh, my God. How is it attached? <laughs> <laughs> Are we using spirit gum? A really thin, a really, really thin string on the back. (laughs) Okay, then that is a prop. Yeah. But now if we're using a silicone mask and we're using spirit gum to kind of blend in the edges so it kind of looks real, now it's prosthetic. I agree. I agree. Okay. 
Anyway. Oh, we're not even going to bring up the fact that I know what spirit gum is. No. A little bit of prosthetics knowledge. Everybody knows what spirit gum is. They, Christian. The two twins. We've all been to Spirit Halloween. How did you know that's where it came from? You know a little bit about a lot, too? Yeah, you teach me all sorts of stuff. I lie about all of this. So what was the question? Am I the asshole if I don't invite my parents? Yeah. yeah. No, it's your wedding day. You can do whatever the fuck you want. If your Correct. parents are going to be ch- like acting like this, then you, you're you going to have to do the thing that makes you feel the happiest on that day. I right. really recommend you a loop. You, Christian, should have been named Taha. Taha. It's Polynesian, meaning the firstborn child. So it doesn't really work for you, but... What's the opposite of Taha? Ata. Aha. Taha. I didn't like that. If I wasn't the one editing this episode, I'd say, editor, put that in reverse and see how close it is, but I don't want to do that. Oh, no, you've said it. Now you have to. I will cut it out. (laughs) Christian, go ahead and read one of those two stories, and then maybe the second one. Maybe. Today I fudged up because I accidentally revealed my boyfriend's mom's infidelity. Ooh. This story is sent to me by avid listener... Ricky. I can tell Wait, you who sent it to me. Can you use that name on the podcast or should you maybe name her Roan? Okay. Roan Joseph. I like Roan. Sure. Rocky James. That's the kid of Sarah Michelle Geller and Freddie Prince Jr. Really? Or maybe Tallulah Pine, kid of Simon Laban and Yasmin Parva- Parvana. Tennessee James, Reith Witherspoon, and Jim Toth. Tennessee oh, James is his name? Yeah. Is he from Tennessee or is his first name Tennessee? His name is Tennessee. How about Ace Shane? Kid of Casey Daigle and Jenny Finch. You're making up names at this point. Uh, Zorian is the one that sent it. How about Bear? Avid, avid submitter. Banjo Patrick. Banjo Patrick, kid of up. Rachel Griffiths and Andrew Taylor. Obligatory. This story actually happened about a year ago. I, 18 female at the time, was dating a boy named uh, Cole Cameron. Cole, 18 male at the time. His father, early 60s, was a mechanic and his mom, mid 50s, was a stay at home mother. They're a pretty typical white suburban family in the South and had asked. Cole, whatever you said is the other part of his Cameron. English. Cole Cameron. If they could meet me, even though we had only been dating for a month. At the dinner, I met his mom, dad, older brother, and older sister, and her newborn daughter. The, the dinner went well, and I was chatting about my volunteer work at my college's blood drive, to which his father explained that his doctor told him he was O negative and a universal blood donor. I love that for you, bud. My boyfriend mentions he is also O, but his sibling casually mentions they are both AB. The opposite of O. (laughs) I don't think anything about it because my boyfriend had mentioned that his mom was married once before and was widowed. Okay. The following conversation went like this. Me. Oh, that's really cool. You're a really rare blood type. If you don't mind me asking, is your mom's blood type A and your dad's B or your dad's A and your mom's B? Okay. The older sister says, what do you mean? My dad's blood type is O, gesturing to my boyfriend's father. Me. Oh, I know. I was just asking about your bio father, but of course you don't have to answer that if you don't want to. Great. A little bit too late, but that's okay. I noticed his mom's face get really pale, and it was in that moment I realized I had fucked up. Mm -hmm. His older brother. What do you mean our bio father I'm sorry, I say. I didn't mean anything by it. Cole Cameron's dad got real quiet, looking at his wife's face. He knew instantly. I look over to Cole Cameron, who I think was starting to put the full picture of what was happening together. His father. Are you saying that they're not my biological kids? Because my wife swore up and down in our marriage counseling. Oh. By marriage counseling, they mean meetings with their pastor Ooh. that they were they were my kids and she would never cheat on me unsolicited because that's a weird thing to say unsolicited <sighs> <laughs> just to bring that up like oh by the way the two children yours totally yours would, would never, never cheat on you never right pastor 
Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not pastor's kid. Pastor Tennessee James. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee. Uh, she says, yeah, it turns out she never had any kids from her previous marriage. Jacob's mom. I mean, this is on the mom being a bad liar at this point. Yeah. You got to have a better poker face than that, Because you can have a kid. I mean, I guess if they don't, if the parents know their blood types, then you're outed. But you can have an AB kid and an O kid. It's unlikely, but you can have that. I have this, the um, blood type chart here. Yeah. If you want to discuss it. If your uh, mom is A and your dad is B, then you can have a O kid and you can have an AB kid. It's rare. You could have A, B, A, B, or O if your mom is right. A, dad is B. Yeah, it's a okay. one in four chance to be A, B. It was one of four chance for all of them, I guess. With dad being O, it's impossible to have an AB. The kid. chances are one in one hundred thousand. Oh, it's impossible to have an AB unless their mom is AB. Even if the mom is AB, really? Oh yeah, because only one gets given. Sure. Yeah, that makes so sense. So if and it says that there's, they're both ABs. They're the dad is O and the mom is A. Yes. So there's a B getting in there that makes no sense. Correct. Yeah. If, yeah. The if B mom is, the is A and dad is O. Yeah. The parents they can only do A or O. The parents knowing their blood type is immediately like you're ousted. You're yeah. fucked. Yeah. Like that's you can't lie your way past that because there is no no way for that. Both we both have A blood type and we could Olson could have had O blood type but I don't think he does. That isn't fucker. Isn't A like statistically common. bad for giving birth or is that B? There's one that like potentially is linked to like. Well, there's. There's the issue with like um, the a positive is for negative. Awesome and oh. B is for bad boys. What is that? The RH factor. Okay. If if you have if you're positive and your baby's negative or vice versa, I don't remember which way it goes. Um, then you have to take like a medicine. Your it, it's a whole thing. Interesting. But is that only for A? Or is that for any of those? It's any it's, if it's if your baby's uh, blood yeah. type. Is okay, just positive not or tagged negative. by the RH factor. Yeah. It would have to be if yeah. your baby is positive R-H and factor. negative. RH factor. <laughs> uh, his mother, I would never cheat on you. Uh, the older sister and older brother are your kids, honey. Why do you think they're not my kids? The dad asked. I tried to excuse myself because it was very clear the cat was out of the bag. And with a quick Google search for my boyfriend, he starts cussing out his mom. She begins to sob and apologizes over and over and over again. And I'm forced to explain ninth grade biology yeah, to his father. A, the first time you've ever seen a pun in square. That's rough. About the fact that only kids he could, uh, the only kids he could have produced were the ones with blood types O, A, or B, but absolutely not A, B. Mm-hmm. Cole Cameron was the only one with the possibility of being his son. They all start screaming at one another. The older sister eventually leaves because her newborn is now screaming too. His mom goes and locks herself in the bedroom. His older brother follows her, screaming, asking who his real father is. And my boyfriend's trying to figure out if his dad still wants to be their father after all this. Yeah. I eventually have to have a friend come pick me up. (laughs) Needless to say, we broke up shortly after. What? Why is that needless to say? But not after... But not after figuring out that none of the kids produced from the marriage were his. Oh, no. Uh, They found this out via paternity test and that none of them were his kids. The parents divorced soon after this. I hope he's still like... Part of their lives. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, And then there's a couple edits here. For those asking how they knew their blood types, Cole Cameron donated blood for the blood drive at our school. Good for you. His sister just had a baby, so she was probably informed during her pregnancy. Yeah. And the doctor, or uh, Cole Cameron's dad, was told by his doctor uh, for underlying medical reasons that I don't know. Mm. So, yeah, it's. What a what mess. A, oh my what God. a can of worms to open. This is why we shouldn't teach kids Punnett squares. Yeah. We should <laughs> stop teaching kids science. This is that damn liberal woke public school system <laughs> it's so funny to get undone by a pun in square to oh, have your marriage to get shattered by a fucking simple pun in square is so funny God, that sucks how insane i just the foot and mouth you had to do to like yeah oh wow you're through your previous husband's kids like why would you ever bring it up why would you ever be like 
oh, that's really interesting that he's not your dad at all and this marriage is a whole sham. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You can't blame the person too much. I guess. I just, I got enough social anxiety anxiety that I would never be like, what about this little yeah. flaw in your story? Yeah, I, I guess. I don't think that she was pointing out a flaw in the story. I think she was just like, hey, I know that you were previously married and these are older siblings and... It's like, I mean, it's like just making you, conversation. It's like if you Game of Thrones seasons one did, and it's like black hair, black hair, blonde black hair, hair, blonde hair, but all the kids have blonde hair. Something's going on here. It's like you're not an asshole for just being like, what's this ain't mathing, you know? Yeah. But I don't even think that she was intentionally doing that. No, that's what I mean. It's like, I don't, but you can't even fault her. Like, she, like she heard something and she's like, that's wrong. So there must be an ex- an excuse, which is, oh, previous marriage. Boom. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. And, like She just blurted it out because it's like, that's obviously what's happening here. Yeah. And I would be dumb obviously. if, you know, yeah. we all already know it. Right. Obviously. Next story. Oh, wow. Obviously. It's going to be a long one. And we love them long. <sighs> hated that, though. I also hated that. <laughs> Do you want to read one that Erica sent me, or yes. do I have any more good ones? Read saved? the one that I said. It's so good. It's so good. Mm-mm. This one comes from um, my Ricky favorite. It's from Instagram, and who's oh, sorry. it to me? Mixteasy. Mixteasy. <laughs> Was he on season eight of Grey's Anatomy? No, that's Mc. N- neither of them. McDreamy, maybe. Mick Steezy is when uh, Ronald McDonald gets sturdy with it. It's Mick. The first name is Mick. Yeah. Second name is Steezy. Yeah. It's when Ronald McDonald gets sturdy with it. We all understand. So this comes from Best of Redder Updates. Is this the update or do I need to go to that link first? Uh, that, no, this is like the whole original story? post. And... Okay. This post comes originally from True Off My Chest. Okay. In October of 2022. For a little while, I have suspected my husband of cheating. I didn't have any justification for thinking or feeling this way, but I couldn't stop having this gut feeling that something was wrong. That was the title? There is no title, but oh, okay. it's just today I fucked up. You're fine. I just, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Erica just let is me waiting for quick. the next sentence or three. <laughs> This is the title. Okay. Soon everyone will know he's been messing with his stepmother and stepsister. Uh, Something was off. So I decided to keep a closer eye on him, and I still found nothing. And for a long time, I was angry with myself for suspecting him and for invading his privacy. We went to marriage counseling, and I apologized for breaking (laughs) his trust in me. And for a little while, all was well. Uh, but that wretched feeling never went away. I tried so hard to get over this feeling that he was deceiving me in some way, but I just couldn't. So I decided it was time to hire a private investigator Jesus. instead of playing Inspector Gadget myself. Wow. Go, go, Gadget. Uh, matrimony. <laughs> what a good uncle. Go, Inspector. go, Gadget. Ruin a marriage trust. Go, go, gadget, up, do. Um, Reddit lingo there. <laughs> Let me tell you, this was the best thing I ever spent money on. Okay. Within a month of the PI, uh, he was able to confirm my suspicion, but it was a shock to find out that it was his stepsister and stepmother. Not only that he may be the father of his stepsister's newborn baby, I could have killed him, Wait. but I kept... He was cheating on his wife with both his stepsister and his stepmother. Yes. And, and the they didn't know. And Correct. also the stepsister has a baby now. Yep. Yeah. That's probably him. And this took this guy less than a month to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see the way he talks to his stepsister? Stepmother? <laughs> he says, I love you, babe, and kisses them on the lips. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh ba 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 I could have killed him, but I kept my composure and I kept this information to myself and continued to act as normal as I possibly could. Why? Believe me, that that was a very difficult thing to do. I slowly started detaching from him and even moved in to our spare bedroom. 
and we continue to drift apart. I moved out, got a new job, and started saving money for our divorce. I got my life in order. Now here we are almost a year later and in the final stages of our divorce. What was the reason for the divorce? Separate, they're just they're drifting apart. Just drifting apart, okay. How do you hold on to that for a year? I don't know. That would eat me alive. Uh, we're in the final stages of our divorce, and I still have not told anyone. I spent the last year preparing for our divorce because I'll be damned to leave this marriage empty-handed. I wanted to handle our financial affairs first because my husband works for his father, and I didn't want to leave him unemployed during our divorce process. You're too nice. It's not because she's too nice. It's because that's his source of income. She's about to fuck up his life as well as the dad's life. And she wants to make oh, sure she gets her money. Because his father is stepmother's husband. Yeah. I was like, why did why would he lose his job? Ah, he's porking his wife and his wife's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> now, editor, you might have to bleep this one. This son of a cunt dragged out our divorce and fought me for everything. Even things that were mine to begin with. But I kept my calm and I won't say a word until I get everything I deserve. That's when I'll tell his father. And his father is not a man to be messed with. He's a real ruffian. I've been assured to I've been assured the check will be cleared in three days, and it's over for Robert, because as soon as that money hits my account, his mother, stepmother, stepsister, brother in law, and father will receive a beautifully written email with pictures and videos of what he's been up to. I know his dad will just tear him apart. So count your days, Robert. Jesus Christ. A year in the making. Without telling anyone. That's crazy. There's I, no way. Could never. I could never. Oh, God. I hate that there's like, she had to she kind of had to do that to make sure that her financials were in place. I know. <laughs> it's like, we needed to get out of there immediately. That was smart, though. Yeah. Was, I guess she went about it a decent way to like slowly drift apart. I got my money, so it's time to send it. His stepmother and stepsister do not know about each other, that he's sleeping with both of them. Okay. I don't know how long he's been sexually involved with them, but I do know it started in adulthood for all those that are involved. That's, That's good. good. Uh, here's her official update. I couldn't access my original account, so here I am. Let's clear th some things up. When Robert's father... I got to turn the fucking battery saver off. Fuck you. <laughs> My phone's battery saver is like, oh, you haven't touched your screen in two and a half seconds. I got to shut it off entirely. Year three. <laughs> Year three of a podcast. <laughs> My phone just hit 20%, so I got the notification. Hey, do you want to turn battery saver mode on? Couldn't have a phone charged when it's his episode. <laughs> oh, no, I was busy all day. <laughs> Would you like to put my root beer? Josh, I my feelings, okay? Three years. Let's clear some things up. When Robert's father remarried, Robert was already a 30-year-old man. So no, he wasn't sexually groomed, and okay. his stepsister was 31 when she met him. Again, no one here is being uh, taken, advantage like, of, yeah. taken advantage of. All involved were already well into adulthood when meeting and when they started to fuck around. As for the money, well, honey, that money he owed me but was being a dick about giving it back to me. That was money that he owed me, but he was being a dick, dick about, about giving, giving it back. back. I invested in his business ventures, and he refused to pay me my share. And that's not shit I was willing to let slide. Don't blame me. You can't get a broke man to pay his debt. So fuck yes, I was, wasn't going to let him be unemployed during our divorce. That makes sense, I guess. Chapter 3, The Aftermath. No, Chapter 4, Bankruptcy. <laughs> chapter 9, fuck. I think there's Chapter 4 too, Chapter 11 and Chapter 9. I think nine. 9 is personal, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I've never declared bankruptcy. I think it's I think it's nine and eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I sent the email as soon as I saw the money had hit my account. The first call was to Robert. The uh, dad. To the dad, yeah. Wait, uh, no, Robert's husband. Robert's husband. Oh, sorry. The first to call me was Robert. I picked up the first words out of his mouth were you evil ass bitch. I replied with your mama and I ended the call. <laughs> oh, hey! What? Oh God! The best, the best your mama ever. That's crazy. That's so fucking funny. The second person to call me is the stepsister's husband. He was heartbroken. <laughs> you can't, your mama. This person. No, no, no. He asked me a ton of questions and he asked me 
uh, for my divorce divorce lawyer's information. We also yeah. discussed him getting a DNA test for all their kids. I guess that's the downside of... I mean, I know she was looking out for herself. Yeah. But that's the downside is you know that these other two people have also been in a marriage for a year on a sham. Yeah. I, yeah. I know. It's a, it's a gray area for sure. Yeah. Uh, though brother-in-law... Through, through the brother-in-law, I found out that there was an all-out war between the stepmother and father-in-law. He tried to kick her out, but she locked herself in the bedroom... While the father-in-law was throwing her shit outside, this uh, stepmother called her daughter for help. At some point, stepsister and stepmother got in a fight. The fight was so bad that the neighbors called the police. Editor, make a note that you guys both burped at the same time. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> We're so cute. I didn't know which one of you that noise came out of. <laughs> I think it was me. Okay. Relationship goals. The fight was so bad that the police had to be called. And the scuffle to separate the mother and the daughter, they hurt one of the police officers and were Good. arrested. What? They are still in jail because neither of them had... Uh, have enough money to bail? Neither of them have anyone willing to come bail them out. Oh, God. The following day, I got a call from Robert telling me that his daddy almost ran him over. <laughs> so he wanted to come stay with me because he's scared that his dad or brother-in-law will try to beat his ass again. Good. He's scared to go home. His dad and brother-in-law are pretty much camped outside of his place and have already jumped him twice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Robert's terrified. He tried to stay with his mother, and she told him that he had made his bed and should lay, now lie in it. Mm -hmm. You should have went to your mama first. That's what <laughs> yeah. she was trying to say. She says your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Wilmer <laughs> Valderrama at his ass. Yo, mama. Go on. Oh, no. Uh... For your information, I am not done with Robert yet. I got more planned. It's going to be a long one, guys. There's not that much left. And there's not that much left. Ex-sister-in-law is in deep doo-doo as the results of the DNA test came back and zero out of the three kids are uh, her husband's. Ex-brother-in-law is distraught. She doesn't even know who else could be the father. This is, seems rude. Heifer, how many men have you been betting besides your <laughs> husband and mine? Don't worry. I'll find out. Like, I knew she was a trifling old bag of bones, but I never knew she was this cold. The brother-in-law has decided to cut ties for his own sanity, as he feared he might act in a way that is outside his character. Now I feel bad for those babies, but I understand why he had to leave. Did we, ex-brother-in-law and I, Give a copy of the DNA results to everyone she knows? Why, yes, we did. Jesus Christ. Did I personally go out of my way to darken the steps of a church and make my testimony and hand out copies of the DNA results? I sure did. What the fuck? Okay. You're a monster at this point. Uh, the ex miller in law and her daughter have cut ties and are silently hating each other. But they are... Uh, image obsessed so they keep things cute and silent but a heathen like me prefers to be cute and audible and I haven't forgotten <laughs> about dear mother so I went and gave my testimony in front of her beloved peers and read out a couple of the vilest text messages she and my ex-husband have exchanged how did you get those I just, just went through his phone there were a lot of gasps and screaming but I kept reading for as long as I could Unfortunately, I couldn't read more before I was dragged out and then attacked by my ex mother in law and ex sister in law. But I handled that, and they never again lunged at me or threatened me with physical violence again. I handled two women attacking me, something a police officer couldn't do. Over the years. Are you shocked? <laughs> no. Over the years, Robert has moved as shady in his legal business as his personal life, and as a law abiding citizen, I felt compelled to inform the tax man of his dealings. As well as informing his former business partners and current ones. Jesus Christ, you're ruining so many families at this point. You're destroying everything. I also did some legally ambiguous things to Robert that I don't want to put in writing, but he's no <laughs> longer slinging dick like his life depends on it. That testicular fortitude he once had is slipping away. What the fuck did you do? <laughs> you just shoot x-rays at his balls? <laughs> Doesn't... What is going on? I don't know. This he is a Spider-Man villain. He doesn't just... Yeah, Batman. You'll no longer be slinging dick around town. 
He just doesn't have the pep in his step anymore. It's hard to remain so casual when there are a couple of men hoping to catch you and your uh catch you and an ex wife okay. who still has him on my still has him on find my beep. I don't know what the fuck that means. Find my iPhone or something. Robert's life is in tatters. And well, I love that. I just absolutely love that for him. Insane. The end. <sighs> now, Insane. I don't think that she ruined anybody's life. No, no, no. When, it's specifically the business, because like people maybe worked for the business that weren't the involved. <laughs> okay, but still, I would argue that that's it's collateral damage. But yeah, but that is the that was Robert's <sighs> dad's fault. No, it was Robert's fault for the tax stuff. Yes. Yeah, oh, Robert was the one doing the tax. Yeah. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. What a deep well of just yeah. Wasn't a that year. some drama? There is a TikToker named Brittany Valletta. She does the BS we see on TikTok. I don't know if you guys have seen any of her stuff. She's fabulous. I love her. But this just like this whole story reminded me of something that she would put on hers. But she basically she finds all of like the drama okay. and the messy side of TikTok, and she like. Gives yeah, us the rundown on okay. it. It's so good. We mm. should get her on the pod. <laughs> what an insane story. I wish you would have really told me, like, you have to read this one up top. Because I was like, ah, this one can wait. There's a lot of I told juiciness. you they were good. Oops. That was a good story. I know. Insane story. I know. I do have to say she's kind of like... It definitely crosses a line at some point. I don't know. Yeah. It's. It's... I mean... It's definitely... Oh, we're already following her. Oh, good. I've never seen her videos before. I don't know how we've been following her for so long, but we've never seen her videos. Um, yeah, it definitely crosses the point to at some point where it is like... I mean, she just went full scorched earth. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, her whole life was a sham, so... Oh, that's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah. You know what isn't a lot, though, is going over to our socials and giving us a follow. Maybe heading over to Patreon, throw in a couple bucks, get some kickback your way, and get a little bit of kickback our way. And where can they do that at, Richard? You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, TikTok, probably some other stuff. And it's at Judgy's Pod. That's J U D G I E S Pod. We're so good at branding. We're so good at branding. Except on Letterboxd, where it's judges underscore pod. And it wasn't my doing. Wink, wink. We've never used Letterboxd. We should. We, we should. should start putting reviews on there. We should let you know the judges love you. Mwah. Have a good week. Hugs and pisses. Hugs and motherfucking pisses. And top of the morning to ya. Oh, it's the St. Patrick's Day episode. We didn't Ever wear in rainbow. Oh. Guess someone's getting pinched! Fuck, I didn't wear green. Bye.